Abortion bills are again a focus of the Texas legislature, with the Senate passing out a handful of measures this week that would further regulate and or limit access to the procedure. That story tops your Texas political roundup. Senate Bill 20 would require women to pay a separate premium if they want their health plan to cover an elective abortion. SB 25 would prevent parents from suing doctors if their baby is born with a birth defect. And a third, SB 415, would require doctors confirm a fetus is deceased before performing a more invasive form of the procedure. Should public school dollars be allowed to go to private schools? That question drew more than 150 people to the state capitol this week to testify on Senate Bill 3. The legislation would create two public programs to pay for private school tuition and homeschooling expenses. A priority of Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick's SB 3 was voted out of committee and is expected to be passed by the full Senate. Rick Perry, one of the newest members of President Trump's cabinet, is exhausting energy, questioning an election at Texas A&M that gave his alma mater its first openly gay student body president. This week, the former Texas governor penned an op-ed in the Houston Chronicle saying university administrators owed students answers about Bobby Brooks' victory after the top vote-getter was disqualified for failing to report a campaign expense. University officials said they were surprised to see Perry's reaction given that he never contacted them. And they added that they see no need to intervene given that it was a student-run election. I'm Alana Rocha. Stay with us online at texastribune.org for developments in the AM case, all the happenings at the state legislature and in Washington.